more Splatoon. What the heck is that thing? Platoon free. It's been in expansion pass. Side order. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you'll strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We're developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in Spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Mario vs. Donkey Kong? in town <gasps> it's a remake of the first game Mario. The rivalry that oh no that means I have to play a remake of the first game I can barely beat the first game with his eyes on the prize Donkey I love the animation though all the mini Mario toys from the factory and it's up to Mario to track him down <laughs> In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. This is cool, though. Observation and action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? You don't have to explain Mario vs. Donkey Kong to us. Now he can get across. And safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. Aw, he doesn't throw it into the screen. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co op. However cool. you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Don't know if I'll buy it just yet, because I just played through Mario vs. Donkey Kong on, on my Wii U. So it's like, do I want to play it again by HD? Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features two cool. side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world, but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers, to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. 
Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to Oh, you know what I just realized? We're gonna hear all of the Mario vs. Donkey Kong lines redone because we have a new Mario now. Charles doesn't do Mario anymore, so like, they probably got the new guy to like, do all lines. Interesting, I just bought that. Game Warrior Within Outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Eh, racers are not really my thing. I tried them out in real life, but like, I couldn't get into it. Plus, the one I was in was all Japanese, so I couldn't read what it was saying. <laughs> and more you can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs itching for more racing action Up to <sighs> speedsters. i wonder if this direct will have something that we can go like oh my goodness i gotta buy it now go full throttle in horizon chase 2 launching on nintendo switch later today Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. <laughs> That's a funny Free name. Orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Hey, that girl from the anime. ...has a new assignment from school, creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mario's first RPG adventure returns. Now, if only we could the get Super Paper Mario, Mario remake. Game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Ow! Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. It's not broken, but like, hey, we gotta make this game a bit easier for Nintendo kids. Full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move will change, so experiment with different combos. That in the game? I don't know. I, I only played up to, like, the Lost Forest. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these cool. powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. What the? He did 99999. Set off for adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Hey. Uh, uh, Look alive. We're almost there. Yeah, I've seen him before. What game was she in? The Nintendo DS game Trace Memory returns on the Nintendo Switch system. As oh, thanks! I forgot. I know she's just familiar. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. I love how this game looks. Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who 
are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this cool, is you get two games. Huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when Another Code Recollection launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Another Code Recollection includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, Peach! Is it the Peach game? This is the Odyssey Castle. One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This is it an RPG? What is this game? Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. I look like a platformer. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa, Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. By cool. She can use fantastic show stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational sword play. Oh, I see this peach and smash. <laughs> and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Because Detective, Detective peach. peach. Investigate clues and track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweet special. Chef Peach? Turn into patissier Peach and save it oh, from a well, I kind of got it right. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul Man, Peach getting all these cool forms. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, they keep saying pre-orders begin today. Well, we have to, we have to wait a while to get that game, so I'm not buying it now. latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. Saga of what? A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. Man, I hear a plane over going over my house. <laughs> a young man who fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. <sighs> a fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. That wasn't a board yawn. That was a sleepy yawn. I woke up at like 5 a.m. because I woke, went to bed at like 8. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles. Turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of actions, or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. 
Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The legendary Tomb Raider returns. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. As the fearless archaeologist Lara Croft. You'll travel the world and face off against deadly foes and even deadlier legends. Climb, backflip, and swan dive through perilous quests spanning different countries and mythologies. Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Cool. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. <laughs> bolt, get it? Because he's a Pikachu? Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people, Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow Sense with Growlithe. Smash Rocks with Darmanitan. And Peer Through Walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. This game's a real toot. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game Trombone Champ. Are you playing as a me? Because it looks like a me with a weird nose. But how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique, and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres. <laughs> That's a weird game. Electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. <laughs> the only instrument is a trombone. That's funny. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Whoa, what is this game? Of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Hmm. Who's sleepy? Or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from Sheesh. 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last Whoa. team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts, from protecting townsfolk from thieves, to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory, and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop, and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch, later today. 
run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons. Way Forward, man, these guys just don't ever stop pumping out games. And a four player co op mode. Contra. Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. <sighs> Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Febreth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again. Ring of legend. This game looks familiar. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is I love the sprite work in this game. Now is to walk it. So pretty. Walk it I will. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies, forge your bonds, and lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters, from humans and elves to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas and Vanillaware present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th, 2024. <gasps> Luigi! Mansion 2 HD. How Welcome HD is it? Shade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. This doesn't look that HD. Like Luigi's Mansion 3 looks way better. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. We know how to play Luigi's Mansion. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more. Ugh, I hate sand. this level. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some X or something. Whoa, it's kind of laggy there for a second there, Nintendo. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. How was that? Hey, you said summer, but, but the other games are all winter and spring. What the heck's going on, Nintendo? Something Mario. What is it? Okay. What's A that? question mark block? A large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. 
The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. We'll share more cool. information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. Too bad I'll never be able to visit it. some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. Hey, where's my Sora Amiibo? Figures are releasing on November 3rd. An Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. Sora, come on. We have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. I've been waiting months for Sora. F-Zero! Remake? What the? Ninety-nine-player battle royale. Oh, great! When's this game gonna get canceled? Race on classic F-Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Tear through courses in high-speed races, but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. So basically, try and get the first so you don't bump into people. For a temporary speed boost. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. Ninety-nine players, one winner. It's time to race your way to first place. Because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. Like all the other ones. More than 30 years after its original release, F-Zero is back as a Battle Royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero. Ugh, my stomach. Longest problem. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. 
Song of New New, a League of Legends Man, story. two League of Legends games? Cool. System, November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. Hey, right here. Greetings. Welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. <laughs> Lay an egg. In each micro game, you get into a specific pose called a four. Oh God! Could you imagine doing the bottom left one the and the bottom show. right one? Then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand mark. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle. Again, amazing sprite work. Empire's invasion. Whoa, that ninja guy, Noah, he did like a butt ton of damage. An officer from the Empire, and Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the Headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Whoa, really chugging. Betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch April 23rd. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock, whip up culinary delights for your neighbors, and I love the sprite work. Help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward. How much is the DLC? Ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater Yikes, shark. world to find the best Yikes, ingredients boxing shrimp. and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. 
pre-orders and a free demo, swim on to Nintendo eShop later today. The final wave is racing in. Here's a I better see Polly in this booster pass. Final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC from the Mario Kart Wii game Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave Six. Diddy Kong. Mario Kart Double Dash game. Diddy Kong from Mario Kart Wii. Ooh, funky. funky Kong. From the Mario Kart Tour game, Pauline! Sweet, thank you. And also, huh? Jet. <laughs> what was expecting that? I was expecting like Nav or something. Wave 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. <laughs> Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Yeah, we uh, spend like 50 bucks, so technically you're Something still paying. Is among us. Mushroom. We're going down. Introducing a new map. Welcome to the fungi or fungal. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Wow. Okay, Pokemon, F-Zero, Pikmin 2, Detective Pikachu, Mario Wonder, Wario. Like, you guys said, like, a lot of these already. Like the like the booster pass was like said like four minutes ago. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, what's the last announcement? Oh my god! Come on, baby. Oh my god, finally! Whoa, Lindy, you're talking all funny. Well, I guess I'm buying a new Nintendo Switch game. Oh no, does this mean I have to go through the... What is it called? The Pit of Other Trials again? Oh no! Weird thing, they're only showing Goombella. Okay, now it's showing other characters. Okay, that was a cool transition. Usually they do a, cake, uh, a a curtain call, but like, that was a cool transition.
I cannot wait to play this! balloon at time. That's cool! In the first game, well I guess the original game, it was always like just Mario. Rawhawk! Miss Mouse! Dupless! Oh my god. I am so happy. Keep Mario the Falcon in your door! Crying. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my god. It says next year, but it doesn't say when next year. year door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing. I've played the original, and now I'm gonna play it again. Hey, Coops had like a new sprite. Thank you for watching. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay guys, time to upload. See you next time. Bye.